In this video, we're going to look at the technology of 3D printing with sand. We'll cover its principles, applications and advantages, equipment design and the technical process. We'll also look at some of the 3D printers that are used for sand printing as well as show you examples of printed prints. This is a general introduction video that covers sand 3D printing. The main technology used in sand 3D printing is binder jetting technology. The history of sand 3D printing began in the late 1990s with the collaboration of the German company Generis and MIT Z Corporation. MIT developed and patented powder printing technology with the application of a binder. The collaboration between the two companies led to the creation and launch of the first printers in mid-2000s. Over time, Generis split into two separate companies, that's Voxeljet and X1. Today the two companies are leaders in the production of equipment for 3D printing with bulk materials using binder jetting technology. Zcorp was sold to Context Holdings in August 2005 and later acquired by 3D Systems on 3rd January 2012. Binder jetting is a 3D printing technology that involves layer by layer application of a binder onto bulk material. Using this technology, you can print with metal powder, gypsum, sand, and many other materials. The technology allows you to print injection molds with sand of any complex geometry at room temperature. The 3D printing sand molds can then be used in casting. Sand printed 3D models are used as molds for casting metals. Sand casting is the oldest known casting technology and can be traced back to 1000 BC. The printing process involves creating a cavity in the form of the desired part and then pouring molten metal into it. Sand 3D printing technology has made this process more accurate and convenient than ever before. Sand 3D printing begins with placing the first batch of sand in the print chamber and flattening it into a thin layer. Then, the print head of the 3D printer passes over the sand and applies the binder according to the specified layer of the part. Sand that is not involved in the part, that is, the sand on which the binder has not fallen, serves as a support. This means that the part can be of any complex shape. The process is repeated until the part is complete. There are various benefits of 3D printing with sand. To begin, sand 3D printing is fast and cheaper. The creation of injection molds and sand models using 3D printing is much faster and more cost effective than creating molds using traditional technologies. Traditionally, creating casting molds and flux could take several weeks. Moreover, a lot of materials was required to make the master casts. Today, Sand 3D printing takes place in a matter of hours and does not require large investments. Sand 3D printing is also advantageous when it comes to precision. 3D printing allows you to obtain prints that exactly correspond to the digital model. The quality of the prints is practically independent of the human factor. Also, 3D sand forms do not need to be split. Therefore, the molds are fabricated from full target parts. As a result, they are lighter since there is no fixing or reinforcing elements required. On the same note, there is less post-processing of the final part because there are no seam marks on the models. 3D printing with sand, in which the material surrounding the model serves as a support, allows you to print complex injection molds of any geometry. From the 3D printed casts, you can create parts that cannot be produced using traditional casting methods. The material that was not used in the model, this is the material that served as a support during printing can be reused after removing the printed part. And now, here are some examples of models that have been 3D printed with sand. There are various equipment that can be used to 3D print with sand. Some of the most common are the following. 
This 3D printer for sand printing creates sand models of injection molds with an accuracy of plus or minus 0.3 mm. The printer manages a layer thickness of 200 microns and has a print volume of 1500 by 1000 by 700 mm. The PCM2200 3D printer has a print volume of 2200 by 1000 by 800 mm. The unit can print with quartz sand, calcined, as well as synthetic and composite materials. Its layer thickness starts from 200 microns. The X1 S Max Pro prints prototypes and molds from sand with a layer thickness of about 260 microns. This unit has a print chamber that measures 1800 by 1000 by 700 mm. The unit also has two chambers that automatically replace each other. Each of the chambers has a capacity of 1260 liters. The X1S Print 3D printer has a print chamber of 800 by 500 by 400 mm. This unit prints molds with a layer thickness of 240 microns. That is an overview of sand 3D printing.